Hello everyone, what's up? In this Photoshop video, I'm working on a minimalistic winter landscape image, which I want to further reduce on the trees in the center while fixing the color cast and at the same time making this kind of white out effect even stronger. So without much more talking, let's jump into it. The very first thing I want to do is to crop the image. We have a lot of stuff around those trees which we really don't need. By cropping this shot we will make it a little more interesting. So I'm just focusing on the center part, keeping the trees right in the middle, just like this for example. Now we do have a pretty nice balance between the subject and the surrounding white area. Next up we can work on fixing the color cast. To start this I'm going to change the profile to Adobe Standard. This will slightly lessen the overall contrast, but before we continue with the contrast, let's work on the white balance. This is very simple. To get rid of the blue color cast, I'm simply increasing the temperature, making everything a bit warmer. So let's see. This starts to look way more natural. And at the same time, I do want to reduce the tint down to zero, I guess. Just have a very neutral looking white in here. Perfect. Let's check the before real quick and you can see a huge difference. Okay, but back to the contrast. I do want this image to have kind of a low contrast. I want the whites to be almost pure white. And I also don't want the shadows to be too deep. So first off, let me bring down the highlights just a bit so we don't overexpose anything accidentally. And at the same time, I'm going to bring up the whites. So this will brighten up the image and with the reduced highlights, we will make sure to not overexpose it. Although I don't think it would be bad in this case. Then next up, let's see what we can do with the shadows. Although I did say I don't want the shadows to be too dark, I'm going to drop them first. Of course, I want to have some contrast in here, so that's a necessary thing to do. And then I am going to push the blacks. Just like that. Now let's again compare to the original image. And it looks way better already. Then I do think the subject in the center needs to be a little sharper. For this reason, I'm going to increase the texture. And I'm also adding some clarity here. Not too much, just a little bit. That's already enough. All right. Now I do think the whites are still not bright enough. And I also want to apply some kind of foggy look to everything. Just to increase this white out effect. And for this reason, I'm going to carefully drop the dehaze. Just so we get a more foggy image. And looking at the histogram, you can see the bright tones are slightly shifting further to the right side, so that's good. Still, I don't want to overexpose anything, so that's a pretty good spot right there. And then finally, I also want to bring down the vibrance. I almost want this shot to be black and white, so this looks pretty good. Again, let's compare it to before. Then I do have applied a linear gradient for this shot. You can see it up there for the sky. And that's just because I think the sky needs to be a little brighter. So let's turn up the exposure. So we get a nice white color up there. Just like that. Now, since we don't have much colors in here, I can pretty much skip the color grading, especially in the color mixer. But for the split toning, we can work on the shadows a little bit by applying a cold color tone to them. So let's see, I think that's a good hue right there. But the saturation is way too much. So let's bring that down. I just want to have a very subtle blue color tone in the shadows here, just like that. And next, I'm going into the effects tab. And here I'm going to do something that I have never done before. I'm going to increase the vignetting which will basically give me 
a white border around the image. The opposite of course would be a dark vignetting which I usually use, but for this winter landscape a white vignetting works perfect. So let's see, I don't want to make it too visible but that looks pretty good. And the final thing I'm going to do here is to sharpen this image in the details tab. And I'm making sure to use masking so only the subject is affected by the sharpening. Just like that. And that means we can crank up the sharpening a bit more. Since this won't add any noise to the surrounding area. Perfect. And that is pretty much it for the raw adjustments. Actually, I would say that's 99% of the editing. I still want to open it up in Photoshop and just clean up the shot a little bit. So let's open it up. Okay, and then we need to zoom in first. I'm making sure to look for sensor spots. I don't think there are any visible right now. I just want to make sure. I could get rid of this stuff, which is overlapping the horizon, but I think this actually looks kind of cool. So I'm leaving it in for now. Same on the right side, but there are some black dots in the snow which I want to remove, so I'm just painting over them. Also let's remove this thing and that and that. Now that's looking much cleaner. At this point. I might still decide to add a little bit of contrast, so ju let's just add a levels adjustment layer. And you can see we don't have any blacks because I changed that before in the raw adjustments. Now if I do want to have some blacks, I could simply pick this point right here and drag it to the right. But I already can see this is not looking good. So in this case I'm not going to add any contrast and that also means we are done with the editing for this shot. So although this was a little bit different than the usual videos I do, I hope this was still interesting and helpful. If you have any questions about editing, let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.